Hello, my name is Najee George. I'm a first year PhD student in the Joint Doctoral Program for Computational Science at San Diego State University and University of California, Irvine. I am working with Dr. Jose Castillo on the Mole Library and using mimetic methods on the Schrodinger equation. The Schrodinger equation was published by Erwin Schrodinger in 1926. This equation allows us to predict the movement of particles in a physical system. It does this in the form of wave functions, which we establish as the probability distribution of a particle in a system, otherwise saying the probability that a particle is in a certain position. The Schrodinger equation is represented by I times the partial derivative of psi with respect to T equals the Hamiltonian H applied to psi. And we see that the Hamiltonian is a differential operator that when applied to psi is equal to negative one over two times the mass of our particle times the partial, the second partial derivative with respect to X of psi plus our harmonic potential times psi. And there are two properties within the Schrodinger equation that we must observe. When our initial wave function is normalized, we see that the wave function norm is conserved throughout the system. And two, that the total energy of the system is conserved. To give more background on mimetic methods, this creates a analog of a physical system or differential equation. When using these methods, we see that in the discrete analog, the conservation laws observed in a physical system are preserved. To use mimetic methods, you can discretize using staggered grids or uniform grids, and this gives you the mimetic operators of divergence, gradient, and Laplacian. We call these operators as functions using the mimetic operators library enhanced, which is an open source software created by my advisor, Dr. Jose Castillo and Dr. Johnny Corbino. To solve the Schrodinger equation using mimetic methods, I have a couple conditions that I want to implement in MOL. The first condition is that my time independent harmonic potential V of X is equal to one half X squared. The second condition is that the mass of the particle m is equal to one. So when I discretize my Schrodinger equation on a one dimensional staggered grid and put it in vector format, I see that there is a mimetic Laplacian in my differential equation. This tells me that I want to call the Laplacian function in mole to create my Laplacian operator. There were some very interesting observations that I gathered when running my scheme. The first observation is that the properties of the Schrodinger equation were preserved. That is the wave function norm was conserved throughout the simulation and the conservation of energy was shown throughout the simulation. The second is that when I went higher than a fourth order of accuracy with my mimetic operators, that was where instability started occurring. However, between using an order of accuracy of two and an order of accuracy of four, the computation time was about the same within margin of error, which shows us that we can go up to a maximum of order of accuracy of four and not lose any computation time. But the main point is that using mimetic methods, I was able to obtain a numerical solution that preserves these conservation laws that we see in physical systems, particularly the one that involves the Schrodinger equation. And the other thing of note is that using MOL allows for implementation of very concise and efficient code when solving our differential equations. We saw that when I was able to go up to a fourth order accuracy, with barely losing any computation time. So I want to thank you for listening to this talk and I hope to see you at my poster where I can delve more in depth about my findings.